Welcome back to Mimi Math. Today we're finishing lesson one on geometry vocab and tangent theorems. Okay, let's read through this tangent theorem. It says in a plane, a line is tangent to a circle. So in other words, a line touches a circle in one spot if and only if the line is perpendicular to the radius. So when you have a line and it's tangent to the circle, it's also going to be perpendicular, which means forms a right angle with the radius. Okay, so let's look at a picture of that and then but the endpoint of the of that radius remember lands on the circle. So here we've got a picture of it and that means this angle right here is going to be a right angle because we have a tangent line. So anytime you have a tangent and a radius in the intersect there must be a right angle thus a right angle can be formed with a radius and a tangent. Okay, once you draw that right angle in, you can see, oh wow, I have created a right triangle. So when you're dealing with tangents and circles, you're going to have right angles all the time. So make sure you draw those in and you look for right triangles. Okay, so let's look at the examples here. It says find the value of x. AB is a radius. So here's my radius. That must mean A is the center of circle O. And BC, BC is tangent to circle O. So I've got my line of tangency there. Now we've got a right triangle so I need to find a missing side. All I'm going to do here is use the Pythagorean theorem where this is a leg, this is a leg, and AC is my hypotenuse because it is opposite the right triangle. So I'm going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So my A is X my B is 15 and my C is 18. So let's grab a calculator and let's solve it for X. Okay, 18 squared is 18 times 18 and that's 324. And then 15 times 15 is 225. Yeah, 225. And I bring down my X squared and then I'm going to subtract 225 from both sides. So let's take 324 minus 225 and that leaves me with 99. So over here I have x squared equals 99. To undo a square, I square root both sides. So to, I'm going to take the square to 99 and that's 9.9 .9, and I'm going to round that to 5. So x is equal to 9.95 and that's the decimal. Now let's think about how to simplify a square root of a radical. I uh, had to simplify square to 99. Well I'm going to break that down to 9 times 11 and 9 is a perfect square of 3. So it's going to be 3 root 11. So there's the radical answer also. So that means my radius is 9.95 or if you simplify as radical is 3 radical 11. Okay let's look at number 2. First thing I want to do is figure out where's my right angle. Well here's my line of tangency and here's my radius. So where they meet on the circle that's my right angle. Okay so here's my right triangle and across my right angle that's the hypotenuse. So 20 is my hypotenuse, 10 is a leg and the radius right here x is a leg. So let's write down our x squared, a squared plus b squared, b is 10 is equal to c squared and c is 20. Okay, uh, 10 squared is 100, 20 squared is 400, and I'll bring down my x squared. Now let's solve for x. So subtract 100 from both sides. So I get x squared equals 300. And to undo a square, I square root both sides. So I get x equals the square root of 300. So now let's get the decimal of that. 300 and take the square root, 17.32. So there's my decimal answer. Now let's do the radical answer, the square root of 300. Well that breaks down to 3 times 100 and 100 is a perfect square. Its square root is 10. So let's take that out and so that's going to be 10 root 3 as the radical answer. So that means my radius is 10 radical 3. Okay, let's go down to number three. Okay, number three, first thing I'm going to do is figure out where's my right angle. 
Well, here's my radius, here's my line of tangency, and so my right angle is again going to be at B. Okay, this time I have different information. All I know is my radius is X, and the distance from the circle to C, that part is 12. And then A, or B to C, that side is 24. Okay, which side is my hypotenuse? Well, let's go to the right angle and draw a line across. Okay, so AC is my hypotenuse. It's got to be the longest side, and that's these two parts put together. Well, to write an expression for the length, I would take this segment plus this 12. So it's going to be X plus 12 is going to represent AC, because I would add those two segments together. Now let's use the Pythagorean theorem. Here's a leg, here's a leg, and here's a hypotenuse. So let's see, x squared is my a squared, 24 squared is my b squared, and then x plus 12 is that whole side, x plus 12, but I have to square it because that's c squared, okay? So let's try to simplify that. Okay, let's see, 24, 24 times 24 is 576 plus x squared, and then what am I going to do with x plus 12 squared? Well, that is a FOIL problem, so I'm going to write out x plus 12 times x plus 12, and I have to multiply two binomials by FOIL. So first is x times x, or x squared. Outer, x times 12 is plus 12x. Inner, 12 times x is another 12x. And last is 12 times 12, which is 144. Okay, so now from here, we need to do a little cleaning up to try to solve it for x. Well, what makes this nice is that if I subtract x squared from both sides, what's going to happen to my x squareds? They're both gone. So I'm my quadratic piece is out of the picture here. So I have 576 equals x, uh, 12x plus 12x is 24x plus 144. Now it looks fairly easy to solve. So subtract 144 from both sides. So let's do that. Let's see. 576 minus 144. That leaves me with 432 is equal to 24x. Divide by both sides by 24. So divide by 24. And you get x is 18. Okay, so let's go apply that 18 to the picture. Okay, what does that tell us? Hmm, that tells us this radius right here measures 18 centimeters, millimeters, whatever it is. And then this radius is also 18, right? And then that means AC is 18 plus 12. So if I was asked to find AC, I would just take 18 plus 12 and I get 30. Okay, so if you needed to do that, you just plug in your value and you could find that. Okay, let's look at our last one. Number four is very similar to number three. So you may want to stop the video here and see if you can set it up. Okay, let's see what we have. We have a triangle ABC. We have a line of tangency, so I'm going to draw my right angle here. I'm looking opposite to find my hypotenuse. That's this whole side. Well, this part is 49 and this part is X. This part is X and that makes sense because these are both radius and the radius and the circle are the same. And then I have a leg over here, okay? So how am I gonna represent AC as an expression? Well, it's this radius plus the 49. So it's X plus 49 for the whole radius. Now let's put it together in the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So x squared plus 63 squared equals x plus 49 quantity squared. Okay, so let's do a little cleaning up here. Let's see, 63 times 63 is going to give me 3,969. And then x, bring down my x squared in the front. And then x plus 49 quantity squared, I'm going to write out two of those. And I'm going to do what would we do in the last problem? We FOILed. So let's do first, x times x is x squared. Uh, outer, x times 49 is positive 49x. Inner, 
is positive 49x. And last, hmm, I don't know what 49 times 49 is, so let's grab a calculator. And it's 2,401. Okay. And then let's bring down this x squared plus 3,969. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to kind of collect our like terms together. Do you remember from the last problem what we did? Well, we subtracted x squareds from both sides. So let's subtract x squared and voila, they are gone. That's nice. You got the same thing on both sides. You can just cancel it out. Okay, that leaves us with 3,969 on the left. And then 49 plus 49 is, you can't quite see that, can you? It's off the screen. Here we go. 49 and 49 is 98 x and then 2401. Now from here we need to um, subtract 2401. Okay, so let's subtract that. 3969 minus 2401 is 1568. 1568 is equal to 98, and our last step would be to divide both sides by 98. So let's divide by 98, and I just did that in my calculator, and I get x is 16. Okay, so now we know x is 16. Let's go back and put it into the picture to give it meaning, okay? So what in our diagram is 16? Our radius is 16. So this AB is 16, and then A to the side of the circle is 16. So AC is 16 plus 49, which adds to 65. And if you needed to find the hypotenuse, that's what it would be. Okay, so there's our video explaining the geometry concept um, of this theorem, how a, sec a tangent segment is perpendicular to the radius and to the diameter, by the way. Okay, and I wanted to go over, you've got some practice problems, so I'm going to give you a quick screenshot of the two diagrams. You can pause these and look at them more carefully if you need to. And then the very last page, I'm not going to give you the answer, but I'm going to kind of show you how to set it up. You've got a line of tangency, QR. You've got a right angle here, so you have your right triangle. So your two legs are these two, and there's your hypotenuse. So you're going to set it up in the Pythagorean theorem, and remember that x is equal to the radius. If you needed the, to the diameter, you would double that, right? Be 2x, go all the way across. And if you needed the circumference, you would plug it into 2 pi r, and 2 pi r, since x is equal to r, the radius, then you just plug it into there to find the circumference. Anyway, hope this video is helpful, and you can get through your geometry.